Thank you, Jill, and good afternoon. Boy, this thing is hot. <laughs> My goodness. Well, I'm glad you're all here. I love it when we come to a, to a school and all the students are here. And I want you students to be grateful for one thing. To be able to sit on the floor with your legs crossed underneath you <laughs> and your hands folded in front of you. Someday, when you get to be about 50, you won't be able to do that anymore. <laughs> so I want you to enjoy, you know, the flexibility of where you are today. We're just delighted to have you hands folded in front of us. So I'm delighted to be here. I'm really retired from television news. But one of the wonderful things in my life is to visit schools in Jefferson County and other counties and present what we call the Excel Award. The Excel Award was created back in 1989 by a group of forward-looking people who believed at that time that public school teachers in our area, the area we call Kentuckiana, do not get enough recognition. And so the plan was to create an Excel Award, a special teachers hall of fame, where we would search out the best and finest teachers in all of our area and present them with a golden apple, which is symbolic of great teaching and educational leadership. And that's why I'm here once again today. We come today to celebrate the great field of public education. We come to celebrate all teachers, but especially we come to celebrate your very special teacher, Molly Shurfranz. Now, teachers are nominated for this award. And the nomination for Molly says that she's the kind of teacher that it seems all teachers would aspire to be. The kind of teacher that all parents would wish for their child. Clearly, this is a teacher who cares about her students 24 hours a day. She takes great interest in her students, not only inside, but outside the classroom. Molly is a leader in her own school. She is the lead science teacher for Kenwood and available to answer any questions from other teachers, K through five. She is also ready to answer questions from parents. Very important partnership here. Molly is one of the leaders in expressing the key role of parental involvement in the progress of her students every single day. She writes a newsletter for parents. She has a website for parents so they can keep track of their child's progress and where the curriculum is headed next. In fact, uh, she just showed us that website in her newsroom. We will show it tonight when we tell her story on WHAS TV. And of course, the last um, part of this is she actually gives uh, the parents her personal cell phone number. So if there are any problems existing with the individual students, parents and teachers can talk about it almost every day. <coughs> Molly, thank you for accepting the sacred trust of educating our children. <coughs> but also, thank you for passing along the love of learning. The educational community here is vast. There are more than 6,000 teachers in Jefferson County. But for each parent, the most important teacher is the single one that dedicates 10 months of their lives to their child. You are the teacher that makes our parents feel secure in the fact that their child is being pushed and encouraged to learn at the very highest level. Molly Sure friends, if you would please come forward. Thank you for continuing your contribution to education. Now, you know, this apples for teachers are symbolic, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a student brings an apple for a teacher, at least they did when I was a kid, and, uh, and, and polish the apple good and show the love and respect of, of a student for a teacher. I want you to know that this apple represents the love and respect of an entire community, and our thanks, most grateful thanks for you and all you do for our children. Congratulations. You are an excellent one.
Now the Excel Award is a partnership. We have been partners for a decade now with a local power company, lg and &E KU. They're the guys that uh, keep the lights on. We, we really don't notice them that much until the lights go out. Then lg and &E KU beams. But they also keep the lights on for the Excel Award. And they have another very special presentation that's kind of the other half of the Excel. And here representing lg and &E KU today is Liz Pratt. Liz? <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for such a warm welcome. Uh, on behalf of all employees at lg and &E KU, I'm thrilled to be here today and to have the opportunity to honor Ms. Sherfranz. Sometimes, or oftentimes, you come across educators who exemplify the famous saying, teaching is not a profession, it's a passion. As one of Ms. Sherfranz's nominators said, she is an advocate for children and an outstanding contributor to the teaching profession and community she serves. And she is the epitome of a professional educator who has captured the fine art of teaching and has a genuine passion for educating young people so they may be better prepared for higher academics and a desire to become lifelong learners. At lg and &E KU, we also want to help contribute in some way to help inspire students to embrace learning at an early age because areas like reading and math and science are all at the root of what we do to help keep the lights on. In closing, Ms. Sherfranz, we appreciate and we celebrate your commitment to teaching and the impact you've made within your community. And if you don't mind coming forward, I am happy to present you today with a check for a thousand dollars that we know will be contributed. Thank you, Liz. I, I've been presenting these awards, as I said, m many years. Uh, that, that Donna, I didn't realize you were known as the big boss. So I, <laughs> I would, have, I would have been more deferential <laughs> over, the, over the years. Uh, it, it's, it's always a special day, and, and uh, we want you to know the Excel Award is, is sponsored and promoted and, uh, at the highest levels of, of everything. And that's why it's always important um, that our school superintendent, Donna Harkins, is here to also make presentations on behalf of the Jefferson County Public Schools Please welcome Donna Hargitz. Donna. It is so great to be at Kenwood. Uh, I want to thank lg and &E KU and WHAS 11 for their support and for their ongoing commitment to honoring creative, dedicated educators. The Excel Award is a symbol of innovation in the classroom, of long hours devoted to planning lessons, meeting with parents, and serving on school committees, and of a deep overall commitment to making sure that the children in our community are on a path to personal and professional success. The award was created to honor the top teachers in our community, teachers like Mrs. Scherfran. Her colleagues say this about her. She creates a classroom culture that makes all students feel safe and accepted. She is the type of educator that all teachers aspire to be and that all parents want for their child. She has strong content knowledge and strong classroom management skills, as well as a genuine passion for educating young people. She engages students by, by providing unique educational experiences, like dissecting sharks. Maybe no other fourth grade teacher in the whole country has let students dissect sharks. <laughs> Ms. Sherfrance is integral to the success of this school, to Kenwood Elementary. As part of the Excel Award process, two observers visited her classroom while she taught 27 fourth graders a math lesson. Both reviewers gave her 150 out of 150 points. Two perfect scores. Wow, that's incredible. And the observers said this about Ms. Sherfrance. 
She facilitated student-centered questioning. Her students were actively engaged throughout the lesson. They demonstrated in-depth understanding between the daily learning target and the work they were asked to do. They were also impressed with Mrs. Scherfrantz's use of iPads to facilitate communication, assessment, and individualized instruction. So Ms. Scherfrantz, on behalf of the Jefferson County Public School District, I want to congratulate you on winning the Excel Award. I also want to thank you for your commitment to teaching, to your school, and to most of all, the wonderful students at Kenwood. It is my honor to present you the superintendent's medallion. So I get to work with seven amazing board members who care about you and every decision revolves around students. And Ms. Duncan and I had the special pleasure of being here on the first day of school when you started this school year. So it's my honor to introduce to you your board member, Linda Duncan. Well, thank you very much. And it's, uh, it, this is such a thrill for me. It's been several years, really, since I've had uh, the pleasure of being able to attend an Excel award ceremony in my own district. So on, I thank uh, Ms. Scherfrantz for creating this opportunity for me again. And also on behalf of the Jefferson County Board of Education, I want to extend my congratulations. I know all of the hard, hard work that goes into that, but I also know all of the love that goes into what she does. So congratulations and I have a little presentation too. As I said earlier, the, the Excel Award is actually meant to honor the entire teaching profession. And a representative, of, representative of the Jefferson County Teachers Association is here today. Please welcome Tammy Berlin. Tammy. Good afternoon, everyone. good to be here with you today as a teacher and a representative of the teachers union in Jefferson County it is my pleasure that I get to go out and participate in these awards ceremonies honoring my peers um, a famous guy Jim Henson you guys might know him as Kermit the Frog you know Kermit the Frog well you know he said one time that kids don't remember what you try to teach them they remember what you are. You think that's true? Yeah. I agree. Ms. Scherfranz is a mentor to her students and she's a guiding force in your lives. She motivates and inspires you all to be passionate learners. And that's really all any teacher wants for their students, for them to be happy, well-rounded, passionate learners. Ms. Scherfranz teaches her students to never give up no matter how difficult the tasks they have are. And she helps you guys rise, raise your own expectations for your own success. She changes lives, doesn't she? Okay. Where are my fifth graders? All right, fifth graders. So I hear that from Ms. Hanley, that you learn about the Industrial Revolution and about a little thing called labor unions. Well, labor unions are a way that people who are peers together, workers together, get to form an association and work out problems together with the people that they work for. And so Ms. Ms. Scherfranz, is a member of my labor union. She's a member of my union, along with probably most of your other teachers here. 
So she is truly one of my peers. I'm a teacher here in Jefferson County too. So with that in mind, there's this other famous guy that you may or may not ever have ever heard of, boys and girls, but his name was Cary Grant, and he was a famous actor back a long time, even before I was born. But he said something really important, and he said, what he said is that there's no greater honor than to receive the respect and the admiration of your peers, the people who are just like you. So, Ms. Scherfranz, on behalf of the 6,000 teachers in Jefferson County, it is my great pleasure and my great honor today to present you with this token of our respect and our admiration, the Schoolhouse Award. Congratulations. Now a presentation from Mrs. Scherfranz's class, led by music teacher Stacy Phillips. Next, we have uh, former student, Isaiah Antoine. Isaiah. I'm proud to say congratulations, Mr. Franz. You really deserve this award because you are the best teacher, and I think that everybody should know that you're the best. And here are some reasons why. You're super fun. And and funny because remember last year the chicken dance I still don't I still don't but I'm still surprised that she did that also you're the nicest teacher I know finally you I you don't want you don't want the answer right away you really want 
us to think about the question, and I think that's really great about you. Also, thank you for all you have done for us because you've been there for our ups and downs. And finally, I'm happy that you're my fourth grade teacher. Here, here, oh yeah. Here you go, Ms. Sheriff Frontiers, and cut cards from your class from last year. We love you, and you're a really great teacher. Before I make our school presentation, I might be remiss without thanking um, a couple of other folks. I'd like to thank our PTA who are making, um, it's because of them and all the support they provide for us. They're providing um, a special reception for our honored guest, and Mr. Franz. Um, I'd also like to big a, shout, a big shout out um, to Mrs. Scherfranz's family. I know that you all think that she spends all of her time here at school, but she actually does have a husband and two kids of her own that she goes home and has to take care of as well. Um, I know that her in-laws are also here as well as her sister-in-law. So we're so thankful that, um, that you are sharing Molly with us. So thank you um, to her family for that. I'd also like to give a shout out to one of our parent volunteers, Mr. Harris. Um, when, you, when your bus or your car came in today, you probably saw that there were um, some parking spots that were roped off, and that was for some VIPs, very important people. And so Mr. Harris, he made sure that all those VIPs got parked safely and in those VIP spots. So thank you, Mr. Harris, for your service with us today. met Ms. Franz back in 2000, and it didn't take long for me to recognize what a superstar she was. Prior to working with Mrs. Scherfranz, teaching had been a very isolated venture for me. I was solely responsible for, for every aspect of planning, teaching, and assessing my students. Mrs. Scherfranz and I soon became partner teachers, and my educational career was forever changed. I learned the value of having a true teammate and the power of a professional learning community. Because of the high expectations that Mr. Scherfron set for herself, it pushed me to be the best teacher that I could always be. Molly has that kind of impact on people. And for anyone who knows her, I'm sure they could agree with what I've said. Ms. Franz and I then worked at the district level together as instructional coaches, and we continued uh, to work together. Um, we were able to continue our partnership supporting teachers and students. After becoming the principal here at Kenwood Elementary, I, st I continued to stay in contact with Mrs. Scherfranz, and you can imagine how elated I was when she told me that she was interested in returning to the classroom, and she was interested in doing it right here at Kenwood Elementary. Since joining the Kenwood staff in 2009, Mrs. Scherfranz has positively impacted the lives of students, colleagues, parents, and community members. She understands the critical role she plays in the development of her students. She creates an environment that encourages all students to take risks and encourages them to learn from their mistakes. Mrs. Scherfranz instills confidence in her students, helping them believe that they can do anything they set their mind to. Am I correct, Mr. Scherfranz's class? <laughs> Molly, this award is long overdue, and I am honored on behalf of the Kenwood staff to present you with these beautiful flowers and a gift certificate to Jeff Ruby's for you and Tony to have a night out to enjoy dinner um, and celebrate this moment. So congratulations. talk about the chicken dance but they have brought it up um, but just for those of you who um, are like chicken dance uh, my students reached their smart goal last year on taking an assessment and so I told them that you can pick whatever you want you know Mr. Franz will do it and so I dressed in chicken feet and a chicken nose and danced the chicken dance during the middle of lunch so that was the chicken dance <laughs> all right first of all 
I would like to thank LGE, KU, and WHAS 11 for this opportunity to represent teachers across the area. This is truly an honor. I would also like to thank my family and friends, especially my husband, Tony, and my two kids, Emma and Jake, who are here today. Thank you for your support. Go back with me for a moment to a time when I remember sitting in my sophomore geometry class at Stephen T. Baden High School in Hamilton, Ohio. Every day, my teacher would have us, the students, draw a stick from the jar, and if our name was drawn, it was our responsibility to reteach what we had learned the day before. Somehow my name seemed to come out of that jar a lot more than others. Maybe that's because my teacher was my mom. <laughs> I didn't think she planned it, but through this experience, I began to see through the eyes and the opinions of my classmates and my mom that I might have a knack for teaching. It was later, while listening to my parents talk about the impact that teachers were making in my younger sister's schooling, that really got me thinking about teaching as a career. My sister was born with Down syndrome, so naturally, she needed extra support to help her achieve her potential. I saw how my parents talked about her teachers, and I wanted to be talked about like that around the dinner table. I wanted to be a teacher that could make a difference. Here at Kenwood, we are all about teaching the whole child. There isn't a better place that I can imagine being able to make a difference in a student's life. In Room 28, Team Surefront strives every day to be the best version of ourselves. When I think about my fourth graders, past, present, and future, I parallel their experience to those of my own. I want them to know that it is through others that they will be challenged and they will learn their gifts. We learn so much from one another. Through others in our community, they will grow and blossom into the person they strive to be. I want my students to see their talents and their uniqueness. They are truly special individuals. It is because of a truly special individual who helped me develop a passion for teaching that without her, I would not be standing here in front of you. I was hired into JCPS at Bates Elementary as a fourth grade teacher. As fortune had it, soon into my experience, I was introduced to a teacher who would help me soar. She and I worked countless hours to improve our teaching craft and find ways to motivate students to take them to their highest level. She was the wind beneath my wings. She pushed me to be the best I could be, and I only hope that I can return the favor to her someday. As luck would have it, our paths have crossed, and I have the honor to work with her on a daily basis, but not as a team member, or a team teacher, but as my principal, Miss Jill Hanley. She continues, she continues, go ahead. <laughs> she continues to excel at setting the expectations high of all teachers here at Kenwood. She made and continues to make a difference in my life. I also had the privilege to work for Dr. Dewey Hensley at Bates Elementary. His passion for the profession is inspiring. Every day I work amongst a group of teachers who work tirelessly to strive to meet the needs of all students here at Kenwood. It is not always pretty or fun, but we work to learn from each other. We have our fair share of challenges, but they only make me stronger. They have all taught me something new about myself and helped me to reflect upon my practices and my decisions. For this, I am forever grateful. I have been fortunate enough to be surrounded by individuals who push me day in and day out to be the best for my students who deserve nothing but my best. My colleagues have also made a difference in my life. I reflect every day about the encounters and relationships that I have with my students. Did I push them to do their best? Best? Did I question them enough? Did I challenge their thinking? Did I embrace their thoughts? Teaching isn't my job, it's my passion. In my classroom, we aren't perfect. We struggle, and we know it's okay to struggle. We know it's not always easy, and we don't always have successes. But boy, I tell you, we sure do celebrate when we do. We learn from our mistakes. My famous quote is, confusion is a natural part of learning. Throughout our relationships with each other, we become who we are. Yes, I do teach math, reading, writing, science, and social studies. 
but I also teach my students how to think, how to communicate, how to listen, how to argue constructively, how to accept and give feedback, how to set goals, how to identify strengths in themselves and in others, and to be advocates for themselves. It is through our daily interactions that we accomplish this. I would not be the teacher I am without the love and support of those around me. That's all of you, friends, family, and students. We work together in room 28 as a team to embrace each other as individuals and classmates working toward a common goal. That's why I teach. In closing, I would like to thank my mom and dad who could not make it down for the ceremony, who have embedded in me a work ethic and encouraged me along the way. Thank you to my children, Emma and Jake, who watched me work countless hours and who know that when I buy items at Walmart, it's probably not always for them. <laughs> and to my wonderful husband, Tony, who I hope knows that I am accepting this award and I'm able to be the teacher that I am because of you. Thank you for allowing me to be able to make a difference in my students' lives. And I have one final thought. In the words of my professor from Bellarmine University, Dr. Sarah Gothals, teaching is an awesome and noble profession. Thank you. because I think the first time behind the podium, I didn't cry in front of everyone. And then Ms. Scherfans gets up here and her words make me cry. But we know that author's purpose is important. And I think that Ms. Scherfans' purpose was to convey a message and evoke emotion from us. Do you agree with me? Yes. Kenwood Elementary, let's give one more big round of applause to Ms. Scherfans. in the back for exemplary behavior. You showed amazing audience behavior. I'm so proud of you for having integrity because you know integrity means? And I'm so proud that you had that throughout the entire ceremony. Thank you for, for being here. Again, for our VIPs, for Molly's family, teachers and staff. Uh, we have a small ceremony that will uh, reception in our staff lounge. Feel free to stop by. Boys and girls, I'm so proud of you and I'm looking forward to exemplary things from you as well. Thank you and have a good afternoon.